All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to the Skate Channel. So you guys know I'm trying to just be more open, honest, authentic, just have more fun, stop overthinking about the videos I'm making. I'm gonna try to do a raw reaction video. I've never done this before. Hopefully OBS is working for me right now. So Ninja Lifestyle just dropped a review of, I believe, mine and Josh Katz's street part in fine dining. Um, since I've kind of been going through all this stuff with uh, YouTube and social media, I haven't even really promoted fine dining, but we spent a full year on a full length skate video. It's on my channel. I know the view count isn't that high, so probably many of you have not seen it yet, but I just dropped a full street part. Um, I encourage you to watch fine dining before you watch Ninja's reaction to our parts, but in whatever order you want to do it, I'll leave a link to fine dining in the description. That reminds shit, I gotta write something down. This is what happens to me, like things pop in my head all the time. I'm not even gonna edit this, I don't care. I should probably post my street part individually, and I just need to write it down or else I'm gonna forget. So I haven't seen this reaction yet, but I wanna watch it, and let's see if I get offended. <laughs> I probably won't. I think I think I won't because I've been watching Ninja. Well, I don't currently watch him, but when I was younger, like a young skater, like getting into YouTube, I was watching Ninja like in my childhood. So I'm well familiar. I think I know his humor. I'm expecting it to be pretty aggressive, but I like, you know, you get a sense about someone when they're talking shit about whether it's lighthearted. And I already have the feeling that Ninja's like a, I think he's a teddy bear, but we'll see. Uh, let's check this out. New York skateboarders and their dress code is a lot like the Mormons. I'll say off the bat, you know, New York skaters do be dressing a particular way. And I, I like it. <laughs> Earlier this week, I got a text message from Josh Katz, and he suggested I review this video called Fine Dining. I don't know what to expect other than a guy with a helmet, but I will tell you this, Josh gets no special treatment from me and he asked me to start with reviewing his friend, uh, George Poulos. I hope I'm saying that right. That's 534. Really, it's actually really good pronunciation, George Poulos. Most people get it much worse, such as Mikey Taylor. George. Yes, George Poul- I'm gonna blow his last name, Poil Poilus. <laughs> I'm never gonna live that one down, I guess. This is George. Looks just like Josh Katz. I wonder if they're all gonna be helmet wearing, dress code, New York guys. We got the skateboard art. Skateboarders doing art is literally the same as like second grade art. No one can do anything that looks any better than a doodle. Also, the dress code is great. I'm going to take this way too seriously already, but like, you know, I like that skaters have that kind of, I think skaters are typically very creative people and it's, I fuck with that, like that second grade art style. I don't know. It's kind of my vibe. I did those doodles, by the way. I feel like these New York skateboarders and their dress code is a lot like the Mormons. I don't know who runs the Mormons. I don't know if there's like a leader. I also don't know the leader of New York City that makes everyone dress like this. Because I feel like if they don't dress like this, they think they're, I don't know, going to eternal damnation. There's definitely something that happens with New York fashion. It's like you go out and like everyone just kind of looks sick. And there's like a, there's always like a current fashion trend, I guess. That's like, and you just feel this gravitational pull towards it, you know? And right now it's kind of like baggy jeans, baggy shirts, uh, kind of that thrifting style. And yeah, you get pulled in and it almost becomes a way to like show that like you want to be a part of the community. That's kind of how I feel about it. I feel like I'm taking this too seriously already. Much like the Mormons. So far, uh, we get a nollie tray flip where the nose doesn't touch the ground. It's true. I didn't pop. <laughs> a lot of high fives, which is interesting. Out of all three of those high fives, no one said, hey, George, uh, there was no pop. So the bar has already been set about as low as we could possibly get it. We got the Tic Tac right there. Nice filming on the grind. Wall ride like that. It's my favorite. Thank you, bro. <laughs> Everything I've seen so far. A lot of non-skating already. What are we, 30 seconds into this? A lot of high fives, a lot of my friend who's holding a camera. Hey, it's all about the vibes, man. You know, skating is half about the vibes, half about the skating, in my opinion. We're in this courtyard, kickflip down, jumps up, 
fakie tray flip. He did choose to touch the tail on the ground that time. A lot of like B-roll rolling up. That was okay. I'm not going to hate on the helmets because I appreciate the uh, the free choice. Oh, here the fuck we go. That's that's rare, you know, to like actually verbally hear some some helmet support. I will say like, yo, people respect the helmet a lot more these days than like, you know, say five years ago. Like, I really do sense that. Like, when I'm out and about, it's like, it's almost like just a part of fashion now, in a way, which I think is dope. I appreciate these guys. You know, if they want to protect their heads, that's fine. I don't really see the point because everything they're skating is ah, curb height. So, I know you can get hurt from, from any height, but I feel like, eh, like, this is not high impact skating. Then again, maybe there will be something more. Terrible skateboarding doodles, which is what everyone likes to see in a skate video. Tray flip down the stairs, nicely done. Little front side flip here. We get the kick flip grind, and then he's gonna get the front grind. Like to see that. I don't know what it is about um, symmetry in skateboarding, right? Artosari used to do that. Wow, how'd they find a handrail for ants? Ar Smallest handrail I've ever skated. Seriously, great spot. Artosari did these lines in um, the Sari video where he did the whole line regular, then did the whole line switch. So when I see this guy do the flip back grind and then a flip front grind, also I really like the slow nolly heel. I'm sure some people might. This is way more positive uh, than I was expecting. I'm feeling pretty, uh, pretty heartwarmed right now. I hate on that. Notice the dress code has still not changed, so he is still going to be saved after this video. He's not going to go to heck. <laughs> Although, um, I feel like these terrible drawings probably should be a sin. We get the switch big spin. Down the, what, three stair? Three and a half stair? They're a little larger stairs than usual. Here's a video of my friend walking upstairs while I look at a rail. My friend saving the skateboard. And feeble grind down the rail. Is that going to be the banger? Probably. What do we get after this? Some hugs? I know more high fives, more high fives, need some high fives. I'm surprised there's no hug. All right. Uh, is this... <laughs> okay. All right, and then he gets into Joshi's part. You know, honestly, yo, thanks, Ninja, dude. That was pretty positive. I'm sure you ripped apart Josh Katz. I'll actually, you know, I'll... I'll I was originally going to react to this whole video, but I'll... I'll leave that out of this video so I could plug your video. Uh, Ninja's reaction will be in the description if you want it. I don't even need to watch it. I know he's going to be more mean to Josh probably because he they're actually friends. So, you know, once you're friends with someone, then you can start talking shit. If that makes sense. You guys know what I mean. Uh, so, yeah. Is my OBS still going? It looks like it. Did I just make a video in 10 minutes that I don't have to edit? Thanks for watching.